Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Lost Phoenix Gaming, the home of tips, tricks, guides, and tunes to Forza Horizon. Now I'm the look at the Cold Commute Championship for the BMW M6 Forza Edition. Derwent Lakeside Sprint, Glen Rannock Hillside Sprint, and Edinburgh City Sprint. That's the events of this. Kira says her bits are here. And we can go in and we can have a look at what car I'm going to do this in today. I'm going to go for the Merc, for the G-Wagon. Why not? This is a brilliant car. This will sort you out for this. And definitely make light work of this. If you fancy using an Audi, I'll definitely recommend the TT S Coupe because that works really well. But this is good. I like this. I'm going for a G-Wagon. Setting wise, I'm going to drop stability on and drop traction on, and it has to be on highly skilled because you need to be on highly skilled in order to get the completion of the championship and get your reward. Anything below that will not count. Absolutely flying it down here, down the side. I'm into third place. Little battle for second with RG team, but I'm in second and I've got a G Wagon in first. Yeah. Come on, let's get past this G-Wagon. That'll drift into the wall, take out some signage. Yeah, this G-Wagon's really cool, but it is a really good car. It's on me auto show, pretty cheap. No, no, don't take the wall out. I will catch up with you. Ah, into the barrier, take out some more wall. This isn't going well, is it? It really isn't, but I've got second, and I definitely know I can overtake you, which I just did. Although sliding it, sliding it, I, I think this has got winter tyres on it. Actually, I'm pretty sure it has got winter tyres on it. Because I've used it for winter championships quite a few times. Slam down brakes. Not so good. This is where having traction stability on is hindering me a little bit. I thought, you know what, I'll put it on. Gives me an opportunity to have a little bit more balance and not to spin. Unfortunately... When you try and take corners like that, the stability kicks in, the traction kicks in, locks up your wheels, and you can't do it. So definitely one to bear in mind if you're doing this. I should probably have gone with traction on and stability off. And that was definitely giving me a better opportunity to take these corners in more of a drift style rather than just go round, lock up, and just judder a little bit. So definitely lesson learnt on that one, I think. But 62% now, I'm in first. Not got a massive lead. Bake off 10 past, although they have changed it. And I'm not going to say what some people call those type of tents. Because I was at a music festival a few years ago, and they've got those tents, and one of the organisers... Yeah, actually, was just talking about the events and kept referring to this one tent as a certain type of tent. And I won't say it because of advertising guidelines on YouTube and all that stuff, you know? But basically, people call it that for a reason. Let's say it's a part of female anatomy. But that's that. I'll call it a bake-off tent for time being. You guys are definitely trying to catch up with me. And I bet it's for Merc. I bet you that's the G-Wagon behind me. The finish line's there. And let's have a look when we go through the line and see what was in second place. So that's a first place, pretty straightforward. That was actually the Range Rover, followed by the Merc. Next up, Glen Rannock Hillside Sprint. Yeah, I've kept the settings the same, right? I probably shouldn't have done, but I did. It's a Hillside Sprint at Glen Rannock. And what I'm doing with these videos is I'm cutting out... The loading screens, I'm cutting out the map transfers because that just takes time. It drags it out. And to be honest with you, it's not really adding value to the game. But when you do these events, you complete them. And you go back into map, look for the white logos, the events with the white badges. They're the ones which are the next ones up in the championship. You don't have to do them in any particular order. You just click on them, go to it, complete it, and you just move on and do that. And that's the only thing I'm sort of missing by not showing you this stuff. But the rest of that is just loading in and messing about. And this game does take quite a long time sometimes to load into events. 
So skip all through it and back into events. And I'm 27% away in fourth place. I'm in a battle with this Range Rover. You've gone off slightly towards the wall. Cut the corner, hit the wall. I swear I missed a checkpoint on that one, but it doesn't really matter. Still in fourth, in fifth, little battle. Yeah, totally messing this one up. Let's get past crazy German on this corner, shall we? Come on. Slam down brakes a little bit, turn it round into a wall. And I'm in third place, right? G-Wagon in first once again, because it is a bloody good car for this sort of stuff. I just think my traction stability being on is definitely hindering me a little bit on this one. So let's see if I can get past you right, past Patsy Klein Mill, whatever you're called. Hit the brakes, pass the G-Wagon, clip the flag into the wall. <laughs> First place, righty. This is not as straightforward as I'd sort of hoped, but it is winter. It is pretty heavy snow around here, and you will slide a little bit. And these guys are pretty fast. These driver tar cars have definitely got, got better, in my opinion, over the last few months. They've seemed to have ramped up the... Difficulty on all of them. If it's 75, 76%, fly my hills, slam it down, we hit the wall. Come on, no, 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 and I'm done it. Brilliant, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. You would have spin my mirror, that's not too bad. Definitely, uh, I wish I'd just turned stability off on that, wouldn't I? We could have a right little drift around here. Not that I'm actually good at drift in mind, but it definitely. Do stuff a little bit quicker than I am now. 89, 90%. And yeah, we'll be on the finish line soon. Take out some fencing. Just keeping my speed going a little bit for this. And I've got the finish line. Go, 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 go. Foot down. Don't mess it up. Don't hit too much stuff. And through the barrier, almost, you know. But I'm through the line anyway. 20 points on the board. Give me 40. So I'm actually laughing for that one. Finally, Edinburgh City Sprint. No, I don't want to go to Expert. I am winning easily, but I just don't want me extra bullshit. So keep it on highly skilled. El DiCaprio, Crazy German, RG Team. Get past me, you lot. Little nudge on the side. You're definitely a bit rammy, a bit nudgy, these driver tars are, and I don't mind giving it back. And I've got, oh, look, the G-Wagon in first. Yeah, why not? Because you do always get the same people leading the pack. You don't tend to sort of differentiate too much around the events. So the idea is just to get get into first and let the others sort themselves out behind you. And those does seem to be the same sort of order. That's just the way they're programmed, I guess. They give you a little nudge. Well, actually, I didn't give you a nudge. I thought I was going to give you a little tap. Get past you, but I'm still past you. So you've got a G-Wagon in first, a G-Wagon in second. And this will definitely do the job for this one. It's all good. Taking that corner. Sliding it a little bit. Sliding it again. And that wasn't too bad, to be fair. There's a lot of twists and turns around here in Edinburgh, and it's a bit of a pain in the backside. But going round... Try and keep it to a racing line if I can. Give it some braking. Clip the flag because you only have to clip it. You don't always have to go slap bang through the middle. Although sometimes you can go straight through the middle, such as the trial last week, where you do it and you'll go, you've missed a checkpoint. Uh, no, I didn't. Slap bang through the middle. Straight through the middle of the flags and a checkpoint gets missed. This game is so bloody buggy, but you do miss them sometimes, and Rewind is your friend, but I've been quite good on this so far, where I haven't actually missed anything. Come around here, give it a spin, and yeah, there's a lot of turns, a lot of twists, you're basically just driving around Edinburgh, which is a bit of a nightmare in this game, and it's definitely a bit of a nightmare in real life. Clip that flag out. Go 
Hit the brakes down, clip that flag. And I can see the finish line on the minimap. Yeah, my voice is going a little bit, so apologies for that. It does do that at the end of a sort of end of a long day. My voice all goes a bit ugh, which is not ideal, but I'm getting through here. This is the finish line. So through the finish line, jobs are good, and that's three for three. That gives me a total of 60 points, can't do any better. And this gets me my seasonal completion. And it gets me a seasonal reward. So cold commute complete. Bing, 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 different levels of completion. But what we're after is this one, the BMW M6 13 Forza Edition. Lovely car, few credits for that one. So if you like this stuff, drop me a comment. I've got some videos up here, so give them a click, have a look. And until next time, thank you for watching. Take it easy and happy driving.